What's good? Y'all know who it is and y'all know what it is. It's your boy Matthew Shaq. And uh, yesterday, after the Las Vegas Raiders got their asses handed to them on a silver platter by the Indianapolis Colts with a 44 to 27 ass whooping, Coach John Gruden, GM Mike Mayock, and owner Mark Davis finally did exactly what they should have did a long time ago. Should have did the shit last year. Fire defensive coordinator Paul Gunther immediately after the game and brought in uh, interim coach Rod Martinelli to run the uh, offense. I mean, to run the defense for the remainder of the, of the season in an interim capacity. And even though Fans of Raiders, of the Raiders, Raider Nation, have been clamoring forever to get rid of Paul Gunther. And Christmas came early. Got to understand what the fuck that shit means. Okay? We understand one guy leaves, another guy sh shows up to take the job. Let's talk about Rob Martinelli for a quick second. He was a coach of the Lions, head coach of the Lions in his tenure. He went 0-16 with the Lions as a coach. He went to Dallas and was the defense coordinator of Dallas last year. They were ranked in top 10 in pass defense, run defense. They were like 24th, something like that. And uh, he got fired. Comes to the Raiders as an insurance policy against Paul Gunther, just in case he takes a fat shit like he just did. But it is an interim position. As a fan of the Raiders, I would like our defensive coordinator to be Wade Phillips. I originally said Wade Phillips would be the best man for the job, but he hasn't been the kind of defense coordinator that has been very uh, longfully employed due to his alleged surly personality. He's kind of like the cat, cat that you like the older dude who you just works at your job, who comes to work. He doesn't really mingle with y'all and all that kind of stuff. He just comes, does his job and uh, doesn't really want anybody really to interfere with what he's doing. But now Wade Phillips is 76 years old. Uh, just read a report that he is open to the Raiders job after being fired last year from being the Rams uh, defensive coordinator. And they played, actually, the Rams defense played pretty well last year in comparison to how they're playing now, which is decent. He's the guy that I'd like. I'd like to have him because I know what he could do. He's been in the league since 1976 when he started coaching with the Oilers. His father was Bum Phillips, head coach of the Houston Oilers. He knows football. He's He knows situational football. He knows what defenses to run. He knows exactly what to do to nullify. He knows how to make adjustments. But like I said, he's 76 years old. Does Chucky really want a guy who's been a former head coach in the NFL and been semi-successful? Remember, Rob Martinelli wasn't successful as a head coach to be on the staff, okay? That's the question. There's rumblings that maybe trying to get Jack Del Rio to come back and be the defense coordinator for the Raiders, who's been a former uh, head coach of the Raiders, who actually, John, was replacing him. I don't think that's going to happen, even though Tom Cable, for, former head coach of the Raiders, is now the offensive line coach. I think there was a relationship there. I, I don't think that's a problem. Tom Cables came in, done his job. Hasn't been a distraction at all, okay? Dak Del Rio, he's been kind of critical of the Raiders. When he left, he was very critical, okay? And the Davis family, the way the Raiders are, an organization, once you go around and you start saying things that are incendiary or things that we don't want to hear, your ass is done, okay? You ain't coming back. It's just That's just how it goes, all right? Uh, so him... There's also other talks about possibly another ex-Lions head coach, Matt Patricia, possibly being the defensive coordinator. He was a defensive coordinator with uh, with Bill Belichick and the New England Patriots for many years. Okay, But he went to the Lions. He he wound up being exactly what Rod Melly, Martinelli was with a little bit more of a, of a victory status. Not very good. Okay, So it will be remain to be seen. I think that if Rob Martinelli does a decent enough job in these last three games, 
He may get the opportunity to be the defensive coordinator in the future, but it's all going to depend on how the Raiders play in a short week. You fired the D.C. last night. You got four days to get ready for Thursday night football against the Los Angeles Chargers. You're in the hunt. You're one or two games out of being in that seventh seed, and we're going to see how it goes. But as of now, it's not going to help. No de defense coordinator is going to help the Raiders' putrid defense. The lack, the lack of discipline. The, 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 the holding calls, the, the neutral zone infractions, the uh, uh, roughing the passer calls, the PIs that they've been getting, okay? All of that being out of position, the blown coverages, that has a lot to do with the players not spending enough time in the film room and not spending enough time being serious enough to make that defense go well enough for the Raiders to win games that they shouldn't be losing. And that's what's up. We'll see what happens in the future, man. But at the end of the day, it's all about the players, man. And since you can't fire them, then you got to fire somebody. So Paul Gunther had to get it. He had to get his ass booted up out the stadium and shit. But that's just how it goes, man. We'll see what happens over these next few weeks. All right, man. Love all y'all out there. Salute.